A DIY wedding is possible, but prepare yourself for a mammoth job because even the most intimate family-only affair has a million and one things to take care of. It's worth thinking about getting the experts in. And Kavesh Manek heads up a family business that promises to make your nuptials a smooth running dream. That seems like quite a challenge. And Karishma went off to ask Kavesh about how it's done. It's weekend and Kavesh Manek is hard at work preparing a wedding venue. And nothing is too small for him to notice and tweak if necessary. A wedding requires a lot of planning and attention to detail, amongst a myriad of other things. Luckily, this task doesn't have to fall entirely on your shoulders, with the likes of Kavesh Manik and his family, who are skilled in taking care of every detail to ensure that your big day is exactly how you've envisioned it and more. From soft furnishing to table decorations, glassware and lighting, Kavesh has examples of everything he needs to help his clients realize their dreams and ideas. Kavesh, so lovely to meet you. Lovely to have you. Planning a wedding is no easy task and I think that applies even more so to Eastern nuptials. Tell me, how do you help make that process easier? Our business prides itself on taking the stress away from the bride and groom by taking care of everything from the decor to the food and the overall event management. It's obviously easier to work with a big budget, but do you have some tips for couples working on a tighter budget? Find a venue that does not require too much to be done to it. With your wedding, you know that there are certain items that are non-negotiable, so concentrate on the more important ones first. And one of the non-negotiables could be your food and the guest list. Is it still trendy to be bold and elaborate, or are couples leaning towards a more streamlined decor and theme? I always say stay true to yourself. Let me show you, in terms of centerpieces and that. You could go something as simple as this, some candles, some nice gold detail, and obviously a wedding is something that's very romantic, so candles speak volumes. What are some of the biggest things that couples tend to overlook when planning their wedding? What couples overlook very often is having an event coordinator to bring some kind of streamlined process and coordination to the event such that everything works well together. Kavesh, this is a family business. Tell me, how did it all start? Being the typical Indian family, my mom and dad toiled very hard to ensure that we had a great education. And spirituality and education was the foundation and the building blocks of our life. So much so, my mom always insisted that I become a chartered accountant. And to fulfill her dreams, I did the degree and went out to do what I was passionate about. And it's worked so well now that the entire family is involved in the business. And Karishma, I really cannot spend the entire day with you without you having to meet them. So come on, let's go. Well, Karishma, welcome to my home. Let's go meet the family. Dad's home. Daddy. Uh, and say hello to Karishma. Hello. Hi. That's me here and Mahi. Hi. Hi, babe. Lovely to meet you. Same here. This is Karishma. Say hello. hello. That's my mom, Bunty. You Welcome. You Welcome too. Home. Thank you. You're just in time for tea. <laughs> Lovely. Come join me at the table, please. <laughs> Gavesh, Chantel and Bunty are a typical family, but they also make up a highly professional events team. I know what you do requires a lot of long hours and I'm sure many weekends. How do you guys cope with that? Well, with us, I think we're lucky enough for it being a family business that we get to spend a lot of time together working side by side. What do you think makes Kavesh so good at what he does? Pure passion. Everything has to be picture perfect for him. Whether it's a photo shoot at home or whether it's dressing up and going out to the wedding, everything has to be perfect. What have been some of the most standout weddings you've worked on? I would definitely say Kandasami's The Wedding. The amount of work and the challenges that we faced to ensure that the decor was on point was certainly one of the most memorable weddings that we've had to put together. I know what movie weddings are like, so there must have been a lot of challenges. The actual wedding ceremony scene, that was shot on location at the Amshlanga Pier and Mother Nature had her say that day. The wind picked up and we actually lost some of our decor into the sea. But really to see what work we've put on when we watch the big screen is really quite satisfying. Kavesh, thank you so much for your time. I've really enjoyed getting to know you and the work that you do. Thank you. It was awesome having you over.